So this is the catfish Camaro I was telling you about. I bought the car three years ago off Craigslist for $3,500 and have been tinkering with it ever since. We jokingly refer to it as test dummy because everything I do to it is always just a test to see what I can do to get better with it. But as you look at it here, we'll point out a few things. It's had the Whistler headlight mods, it's got the clear corner lights, and then the front panel, we took off the license plate mount and filled in the holes, smoothed it out, and then painted that back. The car itself had an inch and a half lowering kit added to it. The sail panel is gray right now, but that's primer gray because it took 16 weeks to get the panel in from the time I ordered it and we painted the car before the panel came in. And then before the panel came in, I also tore my bicep tendon while doing it. So that kind of delayed getting this project finished. Uh, the rear panels had the word Camaro cut out, a piece of clear Lexan added to it, and then we smoked it so that it's blacked out and you can't even tell what's been done until you hit the brake light. The brake lights on it have been smoked too. Uh, the, forgot to mention the color of the car. Tamco custom color, murdered out black. All right guys, let's move on under the hood. So here under the hood, starting at the front, we got rid of the stock intake, put in the factory SLP cold air intake. We added a VMS mass airflow sensor here the smooth billow and then the throttle body I pulled off and poured and polished as much as possible we've added in it came thrown in the deal with the car these fuel rails we've connected them in ran our lines all through here we got rid of the 26 pound injectors and put in 31 pound injectors down here you'll see I've also added long tube headers those are pace setter long tubes we sent the ECM out and had it flashed for everything that's been done to the car. Uh, the only other minor modifications I've done to the stock engine, uh, none really. That's about as stock as it gets. So when we go out there, she's going to be uh, a good stock baseline. You'll notice we also went in here and removed the battery. I'll share with you what we've done. It goes all through here here's one my ground and then we're gonna go we got the power cable coming down through here down there and into fed into the interior speaking of interior let's check that out next so as you can see we haven't gotten the interior put back into the car yet there's some but not everything when we come in, we've added a short throw shifter also. That was one of the things we did while we've had it off the road. While it's off, we're going to take time and come in these door panels. And right here, we're going to get rid of all these crash bars. Because once we add a roll cage, those are just unnecessary weight. Besides, I don't plan on being a crash. Moving to the rear, we got rid of all of the seats and everything's gone. I was mentioning to you the battery re relocation over here on the passenger side you can see where we've ran the cable so now back here at the rear of the car you can follow along the battery cable comes down and that's where we've relocated the battery right over the right rear tire and that should help out with some of the weight distribution all right well, that's the interior. Like I said, nothing special. She's still in the works. But let's move on to what we've done to the rear suspension and start going forward. So here's a quick shot of what's up underneath this. We've got the relocation, lower control arm brackets because the car's lowered, UMI sway bar, UMI adjustable pan hard bar, and also, hard to tell, but up there's the UMI non-adjustable torque arm, which goes to a UMI transmission relocation mount up forward. That's the stock length torque arm, but that's coming off. And we're going to go with the weld-on torque arm. That's much shorter. That'll help a lot on the launch. 
the rear end set up we have the Eaton True Track 390 Posi center section the Trick Flow cover and the axles are the 5140 alloy steel axles that we should be able to beat on a little bit before she lets go uh, the last thing we have under here is a full magma flow exhaust that comes out to the rear on somebody let's see here we go can't quite see we've also gone in and we've added some dyna spicer u joints to the aluminum drive shaft hard to pick up from here but you'll notice right here you can see the weld-in subframe connectors that have also been added to the car So that's the car guys let me know what you think of the name test dummy or should we go up with some some other name some of the names we've kicked around since we've been playing with the car my son and i we've called it minimum wage test dummy venom hmm. test dummy seems to be the best because that's what we do the most with it is just test things out and see what we're going to do to break it all right guys well Enjoyed you stopping in. Thanks for your time. Hope to see you back again soon. Take care, everyone.